Guys, this is an example of what you're going to be learning from this tutorial video today. As you can see, my mouse pointer is moving from left to right while I'm trying to navigate through my screen. You're going to learn how to turn on your mouse pointer on your phone. So guys, if this is the reason why you're actually watching this video, then you're watching the right video. So guys, let me know waste much of your time. Let's get started already. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make mouse cursor or mouse pointer to appear on your screen while tapping on your screen. You'll be able to use the mouse pointer to navigate through your screen to show person's direction to where you're actually tapping on your screen. For instance, if you're doing a tutorial on your Android screen, it's actually important to show your audience's direction by using the mouse cursor so that they'll be able to know where you're tapping and where you're not tapping on the screen. So guys, if you want to know how to turn on the mouse cursor or the mouse pointer on your phone, make sure you watch to the end of this video and also if you're new to our YouTube channel, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment as that will tremendously help grow our YouTube channel. So guys, the first step you have to do is to go over to your settings, you tap on your settings, let me tap on mine. So guys, under your settings, what you have to do now is to scroll downwards, then you tap on system, you will see where it is written, system updates about phone language and input. What you have to do now is to tap on it, you can see the arrow pointing at it, you tap on it. So guys, over here you have to scroll downwards again, then you tap on the about phone, you can see it there, you tap on it, you can see the arrow pointing at it, tap on it. So guys, over here again you have to scroll downwards, let me scroll downwards. Then what you have to do now is to tap on the build number, you can see where it is written build number. What you have to do is to tap continuously 5 times on the build number. So guys, there is something I want you to take note of. While tapping on the build number continuously, you are going to see a notification on your screen telling you that you are some steps closer to turning on your developer option. So let me show you guys what I mean. Let me tap continuously. You can see the notification. You can see it. So guys, once you are done tapping, if you have a password to your phone, you will be required to impute your password. So let me impute my password right away. So guys, once you are done imputing your password, you tap on enter. Let me tap on it. So guys, you can see what is written there. You are now a developer. You can see it down there. So guys, now you are now a developer. Your developer option has been turned on. So what you have to do now is to go back. Then still under the system, what you have to do next now is to tap on developer option. You can see it there. You tap on it. Then under the developer option, what you have to do is to scroll downwards. You look for where it is written input. You keep scrolling down until you see input. You can see the input section over there. Under the input section, we have the show tabs and pointer location. For you to turn on your mouse cursor or your mouse pointer, you have to tap on the show tabs. So let me tap on it. So guys, right now, if you look through my screen, you're going to see that my mouse cursor is now showing. Can you see it? As I'm moving, you can see the mouse cursor. Let me go over to my home screen so you see it clearly. So guys, can you see it? You can see it. It's now showing. So guys, you can see it as I'm scrolling, the mouse cursor has been turned on. So guys, this is how you can actually turn on your mouse cursor or your mouse pointer on your phone. You can see how easy it is and I believe you've got value from this. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe and leave a comment. And also, if you're new to our YouTube channel, don't forget to hit the bell notification so that whenever I release a new video, you're gonna get notified. See you in our next upload. Bye-bye. Peace.